Okay, guys, I'm back. Unfortunately, the F9 key was the same thing that does calculation in Excel, and it also stops my, my recording, so I had to fix that. So now we're good to go. So we're going to jump back into it and take it here from here where we are with two dice. So now we have one die here, and we have another die here. And we add those up simply by adding F6 to E6, as you see here. Not too difficult. But now we've got a random number being generated back here, added up through, and to result in this 3. And we also have a random number generated here, and those are added together to create this 4. Now what I could do is I could take this set of figures here and just drag them down like that if I wanted to do that and get a thousand different uh, versions of this to see what it would look like if I had a thousand rolls of dice. I'm going to delete that again. But there's another easier way to do that and if you think about it, if we had a whole, you know, maybe 20 or 30 different assumptions up here, formulas and values, and we had a bunch of text, we probably might not even be able to drag the whole thing down in a bunch of columns. There may be 50, it may be 50 columns wide, and that would be pretty unwieldy to do. So there's a real quick way of doing a simulation as well in Excel, which we'll, we'll do a lot um, as we go through the semester, and that is called using a data table. So what I've done in this area down here is I've just put a couple of headings across two columns, simulation number, and the result of the two dice, and all I've done is copied this number. If you highlight the first few values of a series of numbers and just drag it from there, it's smart enough to go ahead and increment that. The same thing would happen if I put January, February, March, highlighted the three of them and pulled it down, it would go ahead and put the rest of the days or the rest of the months of the year in there too. A lot of things like that that you can do. And over here, all I've done is put a cell reference to G6, which is our two dice result. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to recalculate these two random numbers, add it up, and then put the value here, and then I want to do it again and put it here. I wanted to do it again and I would put it here. I wanted to do it again and put it here all the way down so I get a thousand iterations. So what I'm going to do is just simply highlight this. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll do it the quick way. I'm going to hit Shift in down from here, and that's highlighting that whole column. And, and then what I'm going to do is hit my shift key again and click on this box right here. Bam! And what that does is that copies or highlights that entire range of cells. And I'm going to use the menu called Data Table. And this is going to bring up a dialog box, a real, real simple one. And all I'm going to do when I'm doing a simulation, there's other cases where we would use this row input cell, but all I'm going to do in this case is put my cursor in the column input cell box and I'm going to click somewhere where I don't have a value because all I want it to do is recalculate these guys a thousand times and just stick the value in here. So I'm going to hit OK and then watch what happens. You probably noticed the numbers started filling out down here as soon as I hit OK. Now it's going to take, uh, it's going to take a minute or so here to finish calculating those thousand values and I may stop it prematurely. If I click anywhere right now it's going to stop that process so you want to be kind of careful and not accidentally click when it's running a simulation like this. If I click in here notice it stops. We'll see how far it got. You can see it stopped. It was about down to 650 or so. Now what I'll do, if you watch what happens here, I'm going to go down here a little further and we'll hit F9 again. And it's calculating right now. I can tell because my little status um, bar changed down here. When I move over to the side, my arrow pointer, which would normally be an arrow so I could operate this elevator control, is hasn't changed. It's still just this little plus like I would see if I were uh, working in my worksheet so it doesn't change. I move all around my menus up. Oh, did you see? Those change from zeros to the numeric values. Now I still don't want to do anything until I notice back down here my status bar is going to change back and it'll probably say probably number and 
my cursor. There you go. See, all my little status boxes are back, and my cursor is back to the regular uh, pointy arrow when I'm on things other than out here. So now I have done a quick simulation, simulating the rolling of two dice a thousand times. So that's a, quite a few games of Monopoly. But you can see I have a ton of values in here. So now I can start to do some interesting things with this. The first thing I want to do in this case is I don't want to have to wait for that thing to run every single time. So I'm going to highlight here, hit Shift in down like I did before. I'm going to copy that using Control C. See it copied it. Now I'm going to just paste the values. Paste special. On the edit menu, the second thing down is called Paste Special. And this brings up a number of different options. In this case, I'm going to paste just the values. And what this is going to do, it's going to prevent that simulation process from running every time I hit recalculate, every time I hit F9. This is going to take a, a minute or, uh, or so again to calculate all these values and post them in there. Oh, it was pretty quick actually, but you can see now no formulas in here. I just have my values. Yay.